What's up guys, thank you so much for coming back today. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day just to check out the video. Um, as you saw in the thumbnail, they, the rest of my order finally came in, so I'm going to show it off to you guys. I did get a mail call from a great, great friend of mine. A guy I've known him since middle school, I'm going to show that off. And then, just as something to top it off, I have a mystery box from the company Poptopia. Um, so, if it's your first time here, go ahead and hit that like button. Become a subscriber if you'd like to. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. I do various mystery boxes, pop reviews, and just show off some mail calls that I do pick up. But, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Um, I have a friend. I have several friends. Man, I've known him pretty much my whole life. We did go to middle school together, high school, friends beyond that. Still friends today, talk today. Um, but he just, up out of the blue, just told me that he was mailing me a package. And had no clue what it would be. So I have opened it. Did not know it was going to be Funko related. Um, but I can't wait to show you guys. Um, it is something that's like an inside joke between me and him. Um, and then uh, I'll get into the rest of the stuff. So um, this is something that... This is a movie that we used to wear out um, when we were kids. Not kids, but like in high school and stuff like that. Used to quote it all the time. Still quote it today. Um... But he saw this and thought of me and sent it to me. So I want to say a big shout out. Thank you, Matt. Thank you for sending this over to me. Um, brings back all the memories, man. But it is Billy Madison. <laughs> I mean, I think Billy Madison, probably Dumb and Dumber. And, you know, maybe Happy Go More and some other stuff too. Three Amigos. That's another underrated movie that no one ever gives love to is Three Amigos. Um, but check that out. Do love this pop. Um, from when the... When the Funniest movies of all time. So, uh, still gonna stay on the set. Thank you so much, Matt. Huge shout out to you, dude. Um, and, uh, yeah. And also, too, maybe possibly have just got him into Funko collecting. Maybe. Because I did, uh, our favorite movie, the one that we always quoted, was Dumb and Dumber. And, um, they just, you know, they've been releasing photos of the Dumb and Dumber line for quite a while now. And so I did send those photos over to him. And, um, so hopefully, maybe, that will get him into it. I'll let you know. Um, but, so, it did come in. The rest of my order, the other two pops, the two pops that I was missing from the order, um, it was kind of weird. They said they were going to be here on Thursday, I thought. So, did get home today. They were here today. Not even complaining, not even mad about it, because I only waited, like, four months, five months for them. So, not too bad, not too bad. All right, so, oh, <laughs> and we got another, uh, I mean, it is cool, they don't know, they don't know what I have, but, uh, this is cool, um, it is Marty McFly and Lorraine, uh, this now makes the third one I do have, um, it is something cool, it's the Mini Mates, but it is the Enchantment Under the Sea Dance 2-pack, so I do love that one, um, so, maybe, um, maybe I'll give this away as a gift to someone. Uh, maybe on a live giveaway or something like that. Alright, so we do have the packing peanuts. Oh man, these are packed extremely tight. I don't like that. The other ones were packaged very well. Like, I'm going to have to destroy the box just to get these out without destroying them too bad. Oh, I don't like that at all. Like, there's nothing on the sides uh, to protect these pops from getting, like, one... I mean, look at this. This is how they're in the box. Like, completely wedged in there. Oh, man. Come on. Alright. So, they did come out. And, of course... Of course... They are damaged. You know... It's like... You sell something... That is like... You know that people are embossed collectors. And even if they're not, you should still take care of it. Um, and this is also something, too, that my wife has been always been emailing them, in contact with, um, getting vague answers and stuff like that. And so that's how you ship them. I mean, as you saw them, I unboxed them. They were, I mean, literally wedged in there. Uh, so, I mean, this one did come in. Completely crushed in on the side. Um, the top... Top seems okay. Um, 
yeah, it looks like this is the majority of the damage right here on this side. But how do you not even put them, like, in bubble wrap? Like, they're in a box with just packing peanuts on top. Nothing protects the sides or anything like that. And so, I don't mean to go on a rant about it, but anyone who's watching this channel probably collects Funko Pops, and you've probably had the same feeling that I've had. And like I said, I've waited five, six months for these Pops to come in. And they come in damaged. It's kind of frustrating. It's very frustrating. But this one, this one is the Doc 2015. This is the one that I was waiting on the most. And it doesn't appear to be damaged at all. So this one does look good. Let me show this one off again. Because I just talked about the box damage. But this is Marty in the puffy vest. This is him holding the camcorder whenever he goes to film Doc. Whenever he does these experiments for the very first time. So that is him in the puffy vest. Everyone thinks he's a sailor, because he's got on his vest. That's why he wears a life preserver. There he is. This is a this is a good pop. Um, you know, I've said in a lot of a lot of uh, comments on the other video where I did unbox these. Uh, we're talking about the pops, and I couldn't believe I was actually saying it, but I was kind of kind of hoping they'll stop making Martys and stop making Docs and give us some more of the other characters. I want Old Man Biv. I want Lorraine. I want George. I want um, I want Einstein, I want Claire, I want, um, the train from the third one. The third one doesn't get enough love. The third one's a good one, too. Uh, Mad Dog Tannen. Give me some of those. Give me some of those, guys. Um, but, alright, so we showed off that one. That one is number 961 in the set. Um, and so this one is Doc in 2015. And like I said, when I saw this one, this is the one that I love the most. Um... Because Back to Future 2 is my favorite. That is my favorite pop. Hang on one second. This is something weird too. Well, I guess it wouldn't next necessarily. Because he, he does show up at the very end of the first one dressed up like this. So I'm going to let it slide. Up here it does say just Back to the Future. And some other ones from the second one does say Back to the Future 2. But technically he does show up. Wearing this uniform. Wearing this outfit. in the At the end of the first one. Um, but there he is, 2015. I absolutely love this pop. It's such a great one. Check that out. This is number 960 in the set, so now we do have the entire back set, along with Doc with Clock Tower. So, I'm so happy to get this set completed. Um, there is some more coming out, like Doc with Einstein. And then there is the one that they did fix. Looks like they did fix the hat with um, Marty. But it's going to be a Target exclusive. So I know that won't be kind of difficult for me to get. Um, but overall, they are here. One is damaged. Uh, but it wasn't the one that I was most looking forward to. So, And it's not too bad. Maybe I can just take it out of the box and kind of fix it a little bit. But that does, it does stink. It does stink. It's heartbreaking. Okay. So, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the mystery box. Um, so this was a 50 box run. Uh, the main top pool was the 5 pack Mickey, uh, which I can tell I did not get that one. I did not get that one. Um, so, there will be some other various chases, exclusives, um, and there'll be one common in here as well. So it'll be a common and an exclusive or chase. Um, so I did choose box number 13. So hopefully... Um, if usually there's a mystery box, I'm choosing box number 13. Um, but hopefully we can get inside of here and pull out something good. We need something good to make up for my Marty and a puffy vest being damaged when it comes in. So, uh, putting out the good vibes. Putting out the good vibes. We need it. Alright. Alright. So, I do see the white piece of paper on top. I'm not going to look at it. Alright. Um, and as I say, every time I pull Poptopia, um, they do put all their pops in the soft protector, so it's going to be really hard to tell which is good and which is bad. So, I'm just going to pull from the left. Actually, let me see if I can, that's the bottom. Let me see if I can see the, uh, post-it note on top. Actually, I'm just going to pull. Alright, so we do have this one is in brown paper. Man, I just pulled this one from the last box, and it is the, it is the, supposed to be the exclusive. So I just pulled this from the last Pop Toby box. Ugh, same ones over and over. Um, I think it's Jin Saka, I believe that's the name. It is a PlayStation exclusive. Uh, well, it's through PlayStation, but it is a GameStop exclusive. 
I think the last time I looked this one up, it was like 15 bucks. But we'll look it up again, because uh, the prices do fluctuate back and forth. But that stinks. That is number 13. Alright, so let's see what the last one is. What was the last one I pulled? I forgot what the last one I pulled, the second one I pulled. If I see it, I'll, I'll know it. Oh, I've seen this one be pulled a lot, too. Is this, uh, Carido? Carido? Uh, Sword Art Online? I have not ever seen this. But there is two on the back there. Um, overall, mm, disappointed. Sorry, this has been like a depressing video, I'm sorry. Let's see, let's check prices on these. Wow. Wait a minute. Okay. Uh, th this, okay, this is where it gets a little weird. Okay. So this does show up, whenever I scan it, as a Hot Topic exclusive. Um... With a trending value is a 2015, with a trending value of 20 bucks. So, I mean that ain't bad. That's pretty good. I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, missing the hot topic sticker, so that's kind of weird. Um, and also too, wonder why this was not the uh, the exclusive one that was supposed to be in the box. So this one here we have. Um, let me hang on. Let me check box damage on this one. But 20 bucks, man, that's pretty good. Um. I said, I have seen a lot of people pull this one, so I wonder if maybe they got their hands on a bunch of restock and they got their hands on a bunch of them and price is probably going to drop pretty soon. But, uh, let's see when this... Yeah, yeah, this is a restock because this was made in 2020. So, I expect the prices to probably drop pretty soon. Um, the 20 bucks will probably not stay 20 bucks. But, there he is, box damage. Box is mint, looks good. Alright, so not too bad. And again, we'll check this uh, Jin Saka guy. Alright. Let's see here. Boss condition. Box looks great. And you know, overall, it is a really cool looking pop. Because uh, he does have the blood splatter on his face. Um, yeah, it looks good, man. Let's go ahead and scan it. See what we get. Okay, yeah. So this, uh, this was it's coming in a trending value of fifteen bucks. So, uh, based off the box alone, we paid twenty five dollars uh, plus some shipping and handling. I think it came out to like thirty four, uh, but we did get back thirty five. Like I said, I anticipate this pop to drop pretty quickly. So, because anytime there's a restock on it. The, the value odds always go down. So, tell me guys what you think down in the comments. Didn't mean for this video to be a bummer video. Uh, I am excited to finally have my Back Future Pops in. Um, definitely, definitely love this guy. This is my favorite one. Still going to look great on the shelf. And huge shout out to Matt. Good night, Ned. You're awesome, dude. Thanks for sending this over. And... The Marty, he is, uh, as you guys can see right here, uh, heartbroken. Uh. All right, and then we got these from the pool from Poptopia. So, overall, am I happy with Poptober? Am I happy with Poptopia? I'm not really ever disappointed with Poptopia. Um, I do have better luck than some other mystery box companies. Um, I've never pulled a big hit from Poptopia, so. Um, you know, maybe my, maybe me trying them out might be coming to an end. So, um, but as far as mystery boxes so far, um, Jay Navo, I think he takes, he takes winner. Uh, you know, of course, Pop King Paul, but I can't get a Pop King Paul because they always sell it in like 30 seconds. But as far as for me, the affordable, uh, mystery box, I think Jay Navo has it on lock right now. Um, I don't really see anyone competing with him right now. Um... But, that's my opinion today. Uh, tell me guys what you think down in the comments. Um, and guys, that's it today. I'll see you in the next video.